Hello everyone, it is Lucy and I made a little bit of an impulsive purchase. I bought a portable bathtub on Amazon. <laughs> to be honest, it wasn't actually an impulsive purchase. Uh, one thing you should probably know about me, or if you don't know this already, I love baths. I just feel like there is something very special about the lobster-like experience of being in slightly too hot water for slightly too long and then getting out and like crawling over to the couch or like to your bed and then like drinking some cold water and like slowly coming back to life as you kind of experience like a near death scenario. I understand I sound like a little deranged when I talk about how much I love baths, but like I love baths. And in case you didn't know or you can't tell from this stunning decoration on the walls that I've done, uh, <laughs> I live with my boyfriend in a rental. I like our apartment a lot, I think it's very nice. I toured a couple of other ones that were a lot worse. The one thing it doesn't have is a bathtub. And last year I was looking on AliExpress for the 1111 sales and they have this, um, which is a bathtub that looks like a shoe. And while comical, like to me this does feel like you'd be in it and you would know that you're in a bathtub shaped like a shoe, which I feel like for me would take away from kind of the relaxing experience. And recently I contracted spicy cough for the first time and it was not great. Would it be on my 2022 uh, July favorites? <laughs> and so while I was languishing on the couch at 1 a.m. Uh, with my spicy cough initiated hot girl stomach problems, which talked about that as being an effect but that was my main thing. <laughs> Super unslay to say the least. I, I ordered a, a bathtub. I've managed to live without it. You know I'm, I'm strong, I'm brave. Thank you. Yes. Oh my God. Yeah. It's hard to be a hero but yeah. someone's gonna do it. Wherever possible when traveling I try and get a bathtub and if I'm really desperate I can also go to my mum's house. <laughs> So while I knew that there was an existence of portable bathtubs, I actually had not checked on amazon.com.au uh, and they had them. They had a couple actually. Uh, one which had one review and it was this kind of like Japanese style soaking tub, which I did consider, but I was just kind of like, oh, is there any that looks like more like a bathtub? And there were a few that were like full bathtubs, but they're quite expensive. And they also kind of gave a vibe of like, I don't know, they were just very not portable. <laughs> Like technically they're portable but because they're so like big pieces of like hard plastic to me it seemed like I couldn't like store it anywhere. I wanted one that I could like fold down like a camping tent. I realize I'm asking for a lot okay but you know what it's okay to dream big and it's okay to have standards when you come to buy a portable bathtub for your rental apartment. Oh also the other thing about portable bathtubs is a lot of them are like super ugly. <laughs> they're just not like just plain colors they have like weird live love laugh graphics on them or they're like I don't know, they're just, to me, not aesthetically pleasing and you're gonna see this bathtub and be like, really? <laughs> this is the one? But like, trust me, this one to me was like the least offensive. Hopefully it'll fulfill my needs of lobster POV. <laughs> so let's, I ha let me, I'll go get it. I'm just gonna, I'm just giving a little snippy do. I didn't think it was gonna be in this big of a box because like you know it's it's portable so I, it is causing me some concern because like the idea is obviously that i'm gonna put it you put it in your shower i'm using these scissors so weirdly sorry hang on i just hope that it's still gonna be like compact enough that i can put it away okay that's cool oh hell yeah <laughs> So I couldn't really remember exactly like the design of it, but this is like kind of cute, right? That's pretty good for a bathtub pattern, especially considering some of the other ones I saw. Luckily we have instructions, although alas, they are <laughs> entirely in Mandarin, which I actually can read some of because I actually studied Mandarin, but I, uh, not much. So I think what I'm gonna do is try and assemble it in here on the bed and then take it into the bathroom because I think it'll fit through the door. It'll be funny if it doesn't, but I think let's like, let's try and set up in here. Shout out to uh, my boyfriend who, when I mentioned while I was sick, like I really wish I had a bathtub so I could soak out this demon inside me, suggested, you know, maybe you should actually finally buy that portable bathtub you've been talking about for over six months. And I went, oh, I don't know. But then I did. Everyone get you a partner who is supportive of your dreams. Um, okay, so that's like our, okay. Oh, 
Okay. Oh, okay. I don't need the instructions. I'm a genius. So essentially, if you're interested in how the mechanics of this portable bathtub work, which I'm sure you are, there's like a little, you have your tub shape, whether it's shoe shaped or otherwise. And then there's like a little hole in the bottom of it that you have a little spout and you screw it closed. And then when you're done with the bath, you unscrew it and like put it over the drain side of your shower or whatever. And then it will like put the water out through there. So you won't flood your bathroom. Because that is obviously like a mild to moderate concern. Other things that were important to me were the size and the depth because if you don't really have like a deep enough bathtub then you don't you don't really feel like you're in the bath you just feel like you're in kind of like a little paddling pool i want it to be deep and i feel like if i'm sitting that's pretty that's pretty deep <laughs> I think there should be a hole there. That's um. I'm gonna use this phone that I'm using right now to translate these instructions, <laughs> so I can see what it might say that could be helpful. That looks it's a bit wonky, but it is giving bathtub. My boyfriend is here. Boyfriend, what do you think of the tub? I'm worried about its uh, structural. Uh... So there's like essentially like a ring around the top mm. and I don't know if I've like lined it up properly. In fact, I think I definitely didn't. So I think it needs to be like slightly more. I did also figure out what this thing was. I looked at the instructions. Uh, they weren't really any more helpful, but they did inform that this is in fact a pillow for your head. So I don't need to do anything with that. Uh, here, which I feel like could be a problem and I can't like close it, but it's like really hard to close. There you go. Oh, you did it? Oh, nice. Good job. Okay, I think, I think I've done it. It looks less wonky now and more not wonky. Okay, I feel like there is nothing left to do other than to take it to the bathroom. So let's go. Oh, hell yeah. <laughs> I mean, if it's nice. See how we go. I can't really film in here without being behind the glass, so I hope that's okay. Luckily, I did just, you know, clean it with a bunch of vinegar, like, the other day. I mean, not that I would ever leave cleaning the glass for any period of time. In fact, I'm actually perfect, and the glass is always completely clean with no mineral buildup. So I think you should rinse it first, because that seems responsible. <laughs> to work so now I'm going to um, unplug the oh I see why the bottom plug is there the bottom plug is there because even when you remove the big plug it's still not at the bottom of the tub like a normal bathtub and not a portable one from Amazon so even when you fully let out all the water you still have like a pool of water in the bottom gotcha okay well anyway let me just yeah, the water's going out. Yay! Liquid is going out of the hole. I repeat, liquid is coming out of the hole. Great success. It's going into the drain. I'm not flooding my rental apartment. Kids, dreams really do come true if you believe in yourself and you work hard. Okay, now that we've confirmed that my bathtub isn't going to leak everywhere and destroy my rental apartment, I'm going to fill it up and enjoy bathtub time. Now normally if I was prepared for bathtub time, I would have like some bath time, bathtub, bathtub time products, but I don't, I only have like my normal shower gel. So I'll just make a bubble bath with this Lush shower gel, which is the American Cream shower gel. By the way, this one smells like strawberries and like vanilla and like super creamy and yummy as the name would suggest. I also super hardcore stand the Olive Branch shower gel from Lush. That scent is just like incredible. Anyway, let's fill up the, Tub. Okay, so my bath is running. Uh, I have already prepared my big bottle of water because hot girls stay hydrated. And I already have my laptop charging because I'm excited to have a sesh. I really hope bath is like comfy and like enjoyable because sometimes you prepare for a bathtub session and then you kind of like get there and you're like, eh. So anyway, let's make a beverage. 
celebrate. I think I'm gonna use one of these Ikea wine glasses I have because I don't really drink very often, but like we didn't have wine glasses for a long time. And then we had like guests over and they had wine and then we were like, Ugh. so we have wine glasses. Not gonna lie, uh, the outside of this lemon doesn't look incredible, but the inside is useful. This one you need a lemon, you wanna like squeeze it, and then some light cranberry juice. I know all of you are having your thoughts confirmed right now. I am in fact the coolest woman you've ever met in your life. And I'm just gonna add some, this leftover, because I didn't finish the can last night while I was watching TV, um, I forgot about it the Kirk's sugar-free lemon squash. Perfecto. Oh my god, it kind of matches my top. Yummy! Okay, and now I am going to get into the prepared bathtub, which, by the way, it's looking pretty good. That, you know, it is it... <laughs> Is it from Amazon and is a little dinky? Yeah, but if you just look at like this part, that's a bath and it hasn't leaked. So that's good. Looking good. I did think about putting on like a bathing suit for the purposes of like getting into the bathtub, but I figured um, I could just ask my boyfriend to help me film. <coughs> so I'm gonna do that. I'm getting in the bathtub now. Thank you, boyfriend. <laughs> In case I slip and die. Mm, that'll be evidence for the insurance. <laughs> no! This is, this is so good. Okay, so one of my main concerns is that it wouldn't be comfortable because like the bottom would be all like plasticky and like vinyl-y and like gross and like, I don't know, I know you're in water, but it would feel like sweaty, but it's actually like a padded cushion. So it's like kind of soft. It's like kind of sitting on a yoga mat which is really nice. Uh, almost better than some actual bathtubs. Put a little bit too much water in and I used the little post function to like remove some and that worked. Um, I think the instructions did say to fill it up to two thirds, but um, for the purposes of Susan and the internet, I just, you know, I took upon the creative liberty to fill it up a little bit more. It was a slim baby. How much do you think I spent on this bathtub? 60 bucks? Yeah, about that. <laughs> some of them are like full, I think they were almost like bathtubs for like hospitals or like nursing homes. Children? Or children. Yeah, they're like big like plastic. This one is not a bathtub for children at all. <laughs> for adults, as you can tell. I'm an adult woman. Some alternative angles. <laughs> oh, thank you. Mm. Mm. <laughs> what are those noises? Mm, yeah, baby. Okay, now that we've uh, proved the functionality etc of the bathtub you know original now we add oh, i would not be moving the bubbles like that <laughs> there we go anyway <laughs> now we add the finishing touches to really make it a lucy bath experience boyfriend please assist <laughs> thank you thank you boyfriend now, as you can see, I'm rapidly running out of bubbles, which means I'll have to do a lot more blur work, which is so fine. So what we have here is my ideal bath time setup. Um, so obviously I'm in bath and I am holding cold beverage. And as I mentioned before, I also have a bottle of water down there on the floor. Uh, it's a full, nice bottle of water. Bonus points if you put some little ice cubes in it, get it nice and chilly. You wanna make sure you're well hydrated when you're in the bathtub. You need to wrap this up, you have no bubbles. <laughs> and then uh, your laptop of choice. Uh, playing whatever program of choice you prefer. I will be watching uh, RuPaul Drag Race All Stars. Um, and this episode, the guest judge is Dear from Dear Evan Hansen. So that's really great. I saw Dear Evan Hansen on Broadway uh -huh. and uh, Ben Platt, who plays Dear. I'm going to now enjoy my bath time and I will let you know if any hiccups occur. So far, so good. It is very enjoyable. I'm getting out for a brief moment because my bath stamina has gone down since not having a bath in my home, but I will be returning to the bathtub. Hola, hello. I just wanted to quickly pop in because while I did actually film an outro segment, it was after I had gotten out of the bath and I was so dehydrated and like out of it, <laughs> which in a way is kind of good because I had that near death lobster POV experience that I was so deeply craving, uh, but it also made for like a completely nonsensical video clip. <laughs> so I have had the bath now for I think going on two weeks and it has honestly been really wonderful. There are so many times throughout the month, throughout the year where I just really crave a bath, like I said before. 
and it's been really really nice to actually be able to have a bath when I like feel the urge. Obviously this video is not really like a comprehensive review but for those of you who are like me and also are like hey that actually could be good uh, a few notes. So it's actually a lot more structurally sound than I thought. I've had no issues with it like falling apart or anything even if the kind of top ring comes out of one of the little clippy things, the rest of it still like holds together. I will say wherever you put it, make sure to leave some space between the wall and the side where the little tap thing is, because when the bath fills up, it kind of like bulges out a little bit. And if the tap is pressed up against the side, the bath gets really heavy, it's really hard to move and you kind of don't want to mess with it. And so then you can't like turn the tap to like let the water out. So just be sure to like leave, you know, yay amount of space there. Also, even if you open the bottom plug to like let the water out of the bottom, you'll still have a little bit of residual water. So when that happens, I just flip the bathtub upside down and then I usually just let it like drip dry overnight and then it's like good to go. You can roll it up, no problem. I will say the second time I used the bath, it did seem like there was some sort of bubble between like where I was sitting and like the bottom and I thought maybe water had gotten in but I investigated and like that didn't seem to be the case so I'm not totally sure what happened there but I have used the bath again multiple times after and there's been no issues no leaks or anything like that. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that this uh, video is pretty goofy <laughs> but the actual sheer amount of joy that having a bathtub brings me is nothing to goof on. <laughs> I think I've maybe used it around five times so far and I really hope that it continues to be smooth sailing, no issues. But if I was to weigh up like the cost per use versus the happiness it's given me, like we're already very close to breaking even. So I do hope that it continues to work. I'm like not totally sure. This is the first time I have reviewed a uh, portable bathtub. So I don't really have like a wide range of um, references to pull upon. I didn't plan for this video to come with like a genuine recommendation and honestly I still don't think I can give you a recommendation other than if you are like me, if you love the lobster POV experience, if you love bathtubs, it kind of fits the bill, kind of does the thing. Like I was fully prepared for it to not really fulfill the bath time experience. Like it just would it would just feel like you're in like a paddling pool and it would just not feel good. It would kind of feel icky, but it, it feels really nice. It's so good to just sit in a hot tub of water like I'm a little limp piece of spaghetti. To be honest, I'm more of a rigatoni or a farfalle, but you know, it's <laughs> whatever. So with all that said, thank you for watching me get into the bathtub. I hope you enjoyed it. I was going to say I hope you enjoyed it as much as I enjoy baths, but like considering how much I enjoy baths, I think it would be kind of weird if you enjoyed this video as much as I enjoy baths, because like I really enjoy baths, and if you like really enjoyed watching me sit in a bath, that would be like a little odd. Unless you're the same audience who watches like Twitch hot tub streams, but considering my audience is 93% female, I really don't think that's the case. I'm getting in the bathtub for the girlies, okay? Tub time with the gals. <laughs> as always, thank you so so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!